And I'm language driven also in a more basic, crude sense of, of, of the, uh, the sound of the words. Ah, you know, it's, uh, I, I hear everything I write. It's, I'm very, uh, I, I have to be able to hear it to hear as it, if yeah. it were allowed. Yeah. And that, in some, in some deep way that, that, that I don't think we know how to explain, that also drives the story. Virginia Woolf was writing Vita Sackville West, and she, she has this passage about, uh, she says to Vita, you're, you're wrong about the mot juste, about getting the, the right word, you know. She says it's rhythm. The whole thing is rhythm. And if you get the right rhythm, you will find the words. And then she says the rhythm occurs before the words even come. And this is the most mystical thing I think I've ever read about writing fiction, and th probably the profoundest. I know exactly what she means. That every book, even every short piece, has its own rhythm, and if you get onto that rhythm, writing it, you can't go wrong. And when, when you stop is when you've somehow lost the rhythm, and been, been distracted, or tried to force a rhythm into it that isn't its own, or something like that. Uh, and just, you know, for, for the, we know so little about the process of writing, those of us who do it and those of us who just look on, but th that goes to process in a way that almost nothing else I've ever read. So, yes, so the, the sense of rhythm in that, in that fairly explicit sense in poetry, but what the rhythms of prose are, are something that not very many people have studied. And they're so subtle and they have to be irregular. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's talking, Wolf is obviously talking about a very long rhythm, not, not a beat, right? but, right. but a, a rhythm that encompasses the whole book, in a sense. 